Thank you for joining us for the Two Minute Drills. I'm Aaron Talegian, joined by Fred J. Robledo. Spiffy Aaron Fred Talegian L today, huh? The new shirt? <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting, I'm getting the laughsies here right now. <laughs> Steve Ramirez in the background making me laugh yeah. here. Um, Steve, you're going to want to listen to this. Yeah, Northview, yeah, yeah, yeah. 4 and 0, hosting San Dimas, 0 and 4, in the Valle Vista League opener for both teams. Uh, this one's going down Friday night at Covina District Field. Freddie, I was at the game last year yeah. uh, when they actually were both unbeaten in league. I think they were unbeaten. In going league. into the final week? Yeah, going into the final week. Right. And, and Northview technically was alive for a chance to win the league championship. And close call at the end of the first half on, on a pass that the ref ruled out of bounds, but he was inbounds, like inside the San Dimas one. Uh, and San Dimas didn't, re I mean, Northview didn't recover from there. San Dimas pulled away. But here we are a year later, Freddie. Northview's the one with all the momentum right now, right. all the talk. The rankings, the everything, they are 4-0. Four nice wins uh, in easy fashion to start the season. Meanwhile, San Dimas is 0-4 uh, to start the year. And, Freddie, I'm going to tell you something right now. I think the winner of this game runs the table the rest of the way. And if that's Northview, that's 10-0 yeah. going into the playoffs. And that's probably, what, a number two seed behind Monrovia? Mm, if they the run division? the table, yes. The, probably, if you go 10-0... It, unless Monrovia stumbles, and Monrovia could stumble these next two weeks, but I don't think if you look at the way coaches are doing a lot of the the polls now, they're really factoring in strength of schedule. You see it all over the place. So I don't think Monrovia will ever fall from number one, even if they stumble over the next right. two weeks. So Plus yeah, history. there's there's North. You can they can finish as high as two. But look, Aaron, there's there's a lot of a lot of games to be played. You're you're already discounting the Ball and Parks, who's undefeated at four zero. Pomona's 4-0 in league, and, and, and they've looked pretty well, too. But you're right, Northview is by far, they've looked the best. Um, and I know you can say, you know, Northview's opponents uh, are a combined 4-10. They haven't played anyone with a, they haven't beaten anyone with a winning record yet. While San, San well, Dimas, Nor Roland had a winning record when they played. They played them, but they're 2-2 two, two 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 now. Yeah. San Dimas' opponents are 14-2. and two. When you look at them, Bonita, Los Altos, Diamond Bar, Monrovia, you, you would probably, and a lot of people can argue, Hey, if, if Northview played that schedule, if Pomona played that schedule or Baltimore Park, they would all be 0-4. So maybe this is a situation now where you do throw all the records out the window. These teams are going to start anew this week. But, you know, I am still buying uh, what Northview's doing and, and the way they're beating people. And look, I don't think San Dimas, when I watched them the first week, I don't think they're special like they've been in years past. There is no Jake Payton in their backfield. Right. He's at Bonita now. I don't know where that... Superstar is. I There's think no they're. Game breaker. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. they're they're a good team, a good team that gives up points. They give up a lot to Diamond Bar, and I just think Northview, who played them well, I think for a half last year, right? Yes. It has everybody coming back. Uh, while Sam Dimas lost a lot, and they're running back. Well, they don't have Javon Taylor back, yeah. so I okay. mean, you know, but yeah, they've replaced them pretty nicely. Uh, they have they have a, a good group of running backs, Freddie. Solid quarterback play, very good offensive line play, very good defensive front seven play. I mean. Um, like I said, they're brutally effective. It's not anything that's going to blow you out of the water when you see them. Right. Uh, it's Brian Salinas' kid, man, uh, uh, running back and linebacker, just outstanding. Yeah. I mean, he's he's on his way to an all area type. He's a good season. wrestler too, right, Steve? Yeah, he's he's the, <laughs> the he's our re I think two time returning uh, wrestler of the year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, so, yeah, he's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but here's the thing. You know, yeah, you're right about Northview. If they played San Dimas' schedule, things would be different with their record, obviously. Who knows what it would be? 2-2, two 0-4, two, oh who knows? Yeah. Uh, but no, San Dimas is kind of tailor-made for Northview. Northview looks like they can stop the run, especially when I saw them go against that Roland offensive line, which is huge. Um, and a good running back in Jackie Zhang, who ended up getting hurt in the first quarter. But Zhang wasn't going anywhere early to begin with. And I'm not yeah. sure that if, if he would stayed in the game that he would have gone anywhere late. Anyway, so they're tailor-made. Northview can stop the run. They can stack up and stop the run. Uh, and then conversely, when they have the ball, they're not going to screw things up yeah. and, and get out of their comfort zone. They're kind of like South Hills last year. They know their strengths. They play to them. They keep it simple, stupid, and they, and they produce wins. So I think San Dimas is somewhat tailor-made for them in that regard, if you just look at the matchups. Yeah, and, and the thing about uh, Northview, right? You know what Northview reminds me of, Aram, is in, in the past couple of years we've had a, a Gladstone who had that, that that group of kids who came through, and you've, you've seen it at El Monte uh, last year, and you've seen it at Arroyo when they had Stephen Rivera all those years, and, and, and they're back this year with Cotto. But I think with Salinas and what they have, this group, 
Um, because Northview's been, been down, you know, no, last year, you know, it was the first year, I think they, the two previous years before that, they were really down and they were really young. Mm -hmm. This has really been a, this, this senior class has really gone, gone through all of it and been there together. I mean, they're, their sophomore year, they got beat by a lot of people. And last year, they were good. Six Everyone knew, more, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they ran through the Valley Vista League. They were on the verge. And I think right now is is the year. I mean, if you don't beat San Dimas this year, it probably isn't isn't going to happen the way Zernico has them going every single year. But I just think when you look at classes, and and Steve has has, has seen this Northview team. What once or twice now, Steve? No, just once. Just once. Just once. Um, you've seen both Northview San Dimas. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah, you can sure. tell I'm leaning towards. Northview, I'm predicting them to win the Valley Vista League title with San Dimas finishing second. But I think Aram's right. This is the game on Thursday night. Yeah, I mean, I have, I, have, I have Northview winning this game. Just like I said, what I've seen from San Dimas, they're missing speed on the outside. I mean, when I talked to Coach Zernico a couple weeks, said that's, that's kind of been the key. I mean, they still have a pretty decent line, and, and their, their fullback is, is decent. Fosto. Fosto. But... Without that speed, key, uh, teams just key inside to stop that, and then they don't have the speed to get outside. And I think that's been the big difference this year. And and the way the way the Northie linebackers fly around, I mean, um, it's it's almost set up yeah. for them to, to to stop them this year. Yeah, and, that, and that's what's crazy when you when you look at the schedules and teams schedule. I'm not saying San Dimas scheduled way up, but when you compare it to what Baldwin Park, Baldwin Park, right. Pomona, and, and Northie were playing. It's a big, it's a big schedule up. It really yeah. is when you're talking about three Hacienda League teams in going against three-time champion Monrovia and being tied in that game in the fourth quarter. I don't care if their their, their quarterback was there or he wasn't there. I mean, they were mm -hmm. tied with about eight or nine minutes to go. Mm -hmm. They they played Bonita well. They got back in that game for a little bit. Um, <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, but you know San Dimas. That experience is the only thing if you're Northview. They've been in these type of games before. They're in them every year. Um, for Northview, this is really going to be, this is their, their gut check step up time. Are they the real deal or aren't they? You're going to know. Right. I got well, Northview. You can be certain around San Dimas this week because Zernico is, is trying to get the team to he's, circle. He's going like this and, right now. I, and, well, I, I think he thinks that they're. Well, their whole they're season this. comes down to this pretty much. I mean, because if they're the second place team in the league or third place even, you know, they're going to get a tougher draw than what you might expect as usual. If they can win this game and run the table the rest of the way, they can be 6-4 and four going into the yeah. playoffs and have momentum, Freddie. Mm -hmm. So this their season, you know, as tough as those losses were the last four weeks, comes down to this week because mm -hmm. this one really determines what will happen the rest of the season. Um, and I think San Dimas is going to get it done in this game. I think, mm -hmm. I think the step down in competition uh, is certainly there. Um, I think their defense will keep them in this game. And I think, you know, it's a tough game to call because it could go either way. But I think in the end, San Dimas just makes one more big play um, offensively okay. and gets a narrow this win. Guy. But this is this is an outstanding, outstanding I'm going to be there game. covering this game on Friday. And I'm yeah. telling you, Aaron, the yeah. black is back. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a blackout. I think oh, it used to be the black and gold, but... Oh. Yeah. Thanks, Stevie. It's going to be a blackout Thanks, at the Thanks. district. <laughs> um, okay, so San Dimas, 0-4, looking for its first win. The two-time defending Valle Vista League champions going in against the upstart yeah. Northview Vikings 4-0, Freddie, at Covina District Field, 7 o'clock Friday night. Everybody get out there. This is a big one. Yeah, someone's always got to go, right? <laughs>